not bad, Miss Granger. Harry, well done, my boy. Well, now we have our juices flowing. Let us turn to the cure for boils. What's this one? Oh, Harry, it's a first-year potion. Have you forgotten all your revision? little potion, this one. At least it is in the making of it. But be careful not to let things get too hot. A hole in your cauldron can be expensive and painful. Flobberworm mucus. Note on this. Red is for beginners. Heat until the potion goes pink. That's just a student's notes. It can't be the proper way to make it, or they would have printed it in the book. Yeah, but... Well, I'm gonna try these notes. at all. My, 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 Harry. Pink? Uh, yes. I must have... No, no, red is, of course, the basic potion. But pink? Excellent. You have the makings of a master potion maker. You should be ready for something a little more complicated then, yes? Let us try the draft of living death. I told you to make it go pink. Sir, you haven't told us what's in that little golden bottle. Ah, what you see here is Felix 
Felicis, more commonly known as Liquid Luck. One sip and you will find all your endeavors succeed. And this I offer today to the student who brews an acceptable draft of living death, a small vial of Liquid Luck. So gather your ingredients, but keep your eyes on the clock. Good luck. I can whisper these notes to you. No, thank you. My instructions are perfectly adequate. Suit yourself. Sopophorus beans. Miss Granger, now. Excellent, Harry. It's clear you've inherited your mother's talent. She was a dab hand at potions. But this? Here, as promised, one bottle of liquid luck. Use it well. <laughs> 